when you're organizing for a movement and you're just one person, it can become tiring and taxing and problematic. But when you're organizing and you're educating people, you're building a team to help them understand the real issue of the problem. It's like one arrow. Uh, it can become broken, tattered, torn. But when you have a bundle of arrows, that's very difficult to break. And so that's what I want to build is a collective of arrows. We're going to be a bundle of arrows so that we can stand strong and organize together. And then when we have to call upon each other in a community, we don't have to relationship build because right now a lot of this is building relationship. I want people to understand that I'm here. You can trust me and I'm going to make this as important um, in my life as it is in your life. We want to leave a lasting solidarity and unity mm -hmm. between, um, you know, the, the, the community that has risen up to, to, to do this one action and, mm -hmm. and, and future actions on this pipeline. But once they see, once these companies see that we have a community that's strong mm -hmm. between West Virginia and North Carolina, mm -hmm. and if they go somewhere, you know, neighboring, we, we, will, we will jump in and help those folks too. But if they see that we've come together, and that we don't care if we have different thoughts right. about things, different politics, different beliefs, different colors, different genders. But we, we all agree on this one thing, that we deserve con consultation and consent. If right. we say no, it's no, they will handle this a lot differently. Right. Let this be our strategy of coming together. Let this be our strategy. Children, women, men, elders, creator, community protected inside. They can't beat it, folks. We just haven't practiced it. They thought they taught us to forget how. <laughs>